Hello, in this video we're going to try to evaluate this limit. So we have the limit as x approaches negative pi over 2 from the left of the secant of x. So we can start by rewriting this as the limit as x approaches negative pi over 2 from the left and secant is 1 over cosine, so this is 1 over cosine of x. So if you plug in pi over 2, you basically get 1 over, or rather plug in negative pi over 2, 1 over cosine negative pi over 2, which is basically 1 over 0, which is no good. So this limit is not going to exist, so we basically have to write uh, the correct answer now. We either write d and e, we either write infinity, or we either write negative infinity. So we have to figure out which one of these is appropriate. In either of these cases, the answer is still d and e, except these are more descriptive. So whenever possible, you try to use these because they're more descriptive. If you can't use these and it still doesn't exist, then you choose that one. So to figure out what's going on here, let's think about the graph of cosine. So here's the y-axis. Here's the x-axis. So x, y. So cosine of 0 is 1. Cosine of pi over 2 is 0. It does something like this. It does something like this. And then here's negative pi over 2. This is really what we're interested in. So this is a fraction, the numerator is positive because there's a one. So in the numerator we have a positive number. In the denominator, x is approaching negative pi over two from the left. That means x is traveling this way, getting infinitely close to negative pi over two. But as x travels this way, the y values approach zero. But all of these y values are negative, right? So as x approaches negative pi over two, cosine of x approaches zero, but it takes on infinitely many negative values as it gets infinitely close to zero. So basically you have a minus and very small numbers. Very small positive numbers. So basically when you have a positive number or very small positive numbers, you have a very big number, okay? But there's a negative here, so this is going to be negative infinity because you're getting something really big, but oh wait, it's negative. So the answer here, is going to be simply negative infinity. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.